Hello again everyone, Edwin Lerner back once again in this YouTube Astrological segment. I'm going to be talking about Neptune and Leo in a natal chart. Now, um, some of you may remember when I first started my YouTube Astrology uh, channel, I did a series on the Neptune placements in the natal chart. And they were a little bit concise and some people may have referred to them as snappy. So what I decided to do was make another series on them which the videos would be a little bit longer and more descriptive so um anyway um here this one um, as far as neptune and leo well neptune is about inspiration so this person uh that has this place may have much inspiration just to simply shine stand out um uh, for attention there may be much inspiration for attention seeking ventures and um, cardiology even leo professions it could be work with children doing something with acting, entertainment, circus performing, um, you know, anything that, you know, garners some kind of attention. It could be being a stuntsman in some cases. Um, now also product demonstration because Leo Energy likes to boast things up. Uh, product demonstrators like to emphasize and accentuate the positive aspects and qualities in products. So this is ideal. And also, too, I like to say that, you know, this is isolated and remote, but, you know, there also, you know, in some cases, there may be some propensity for um, delusions of grandeur. I mean, Neptune is connected, you know, has a connection with delusions and, you know, self-deception. Leo is about grandeur. I had a um, prominent family member that had this placement. He had Neptune and Leo in the um, in his 12th house in his natal, in, in not his natal chart, but in his solar sunrise chart. And he had, you know, succumbed to this at, a, at an early age, you know, some kind of delusions of grandeur. I guess they call that grandiose delusions. But also, too, um, this could be something, too. The person may be prophetic in matters of speculation. You know, Neptune is about psychic receptivity, and Leo is, the, the, you know, sign that corresponds with the fifth house in astrology and, uh, you know, speculation. So, anyway, Neptune is also connected with hidden adversaries. So, you know, one or more of these people, you know, may actually be a Leo sun, moon, or ascendant, or simply embody those characteristics it could be people that are very generous magnanimous um, extravagant people that are bold courageous but yet may be arrogant and bombastic it could be extroverted and gregarious as well um, it can be you know a thing to you know with this it could be you know one or more of these people may be in a leo profession you know whether it's doing something with acting or um, entertainment, you know, doing something with creativity, um, the military sports, uh, more sp you know, specifically, you know, golf is connected, Leo being a golfer, um, you know, doing something going back to you know, product demonstration is another example, cardiology, uh, there could be people that are involved in those fields. Uh, and also, too, um, you know, there's also Neptune is connected with our dreams and fantasies. So, you know, having this placement, you know, it could be, too, where um, you know, dreams and fantasies may be connected with getting, you know, notoriety, recognition, attention, being lauded and praised for one's efforts on entertainment, acting. Um, it could be doing something, um, an amusement park even, you know, whether it's the construction, you know, of an amusement park, whether it's creating a ride, whether it's just simply being, you know, just a general worker there, you know, being around people that are having, you know, their fun, amusement, and enjoyment. It could be doing something sports related as well, or something with the military. Um, could be working in a gold um, you know, gold mine or um, being a cardiologist. Uh, that could be things uh, be, were it being as far as a specific sport associated with Leo golfing as well. Um, Neptune in astrology is also connected with what's nebulous and unclear. Um, so you know when you look at this, you know it could be where children, romantic partners, you know, maybe nebulous or unclear, there may be something cryptic about these people more so than those placements in astrology. You know, um, 
there may be, you know, whether it's the person's character or whatever it might be, um, their intentions, trying to decipher their motives and intentions. And also, too, I mean, if you have, like, I me, mean, most people, I don't know, there, there may be, I don't know if there's really anybody that's watching this video is going to have Neptune and Leo, but, you know, this is more being futuristic. If you have Neptune in the fifth house, you know, it can apply to some degree, but you've got to, you know, blend in the sign, of course. Now, the thing about this is there may also be some, you know, confusion or there's something nebulous or unclear regarding generosity and extravagance and who to be generous toward as some examples. Are you being generous to the right people, uh, the right person? Um, have you not been generous enough to certain people? And also matters of confidence and self-assuredness. You know, does overconfidence exist in some situations? Are you not confident enough in others? As some examples, expressing creative ability, being extroverted and gregarious when to do so. So there may be some confusion. There might be things that are unclear in those matters. Now, Neptune is also associated with idealism, being idealistic. And, you know, having Neptune and Leo in a natal chart, um, you know, the thing is, there may be, um, you know, the person may be very idealistic in matters pertaining to children, you know, their um, creative endeavors, you know, as far as children go, um, it could be, you know, trying to, you know, see the best in them, overlooking transgressions, defaults, and shortcomings. Uh, it could be, you know, matters of just enjoyment, being able to enjoy oneself without other things, you know, extraneous things interfering with that enjoyment, being things that they can dominate, you know, such as a sports competition, uh, matters of speculation. You know, it could be, um, I mean, Leo is connected with this. Remember, Leo is, uh, corresponds with the fifth house in astrology of speculation. Um, this could be where the person could be very idealistic and speculative ventures in general. Now, Neptune in astrology is also associated with what's, you know, dissolving, you know, dissipation and weakness. And there may be things of that nature with the heart. You know, it could be, you know, where um, it could be something with the upper back or spine, even, even the dissipation of the ego over time. Now, I mean, as far as, you know, the heart goes, it could be something like, you know, heart muscle weakness, you know, uh, the back of the spine. It could be some degenerative, you know, dis, uh, disease, upper back spine. I'm assuming there's discs in the upper back. Um, the thing is, it's also another thing about this, too, I mean, is that when you look at this as well, Neptune is connected with deception and duplicity. So having Neptune and Leo in a natal chart, um, there may be more deception, duplicity, a person may experience connected uh, with romance, romantic partners, children, the person may be easily fooled by uh, false flattery. It could be, you know, something where Maybe there's some self-deception in terms of royal treatment, their own significance and importance. Um, it could be dealing with jewelers. They could be dealing with more deceptive and duplicitous jeweler, jewelers, people that sell jewelry, you know, trying to pull one over on this person. Um, it could be, you know, a matter is being lauded and praised. That goes back to, you know, the fallacious flattery I was just talking about before. Um, also, too, uh, Neptune is connected with psychic receptivity. So Neptune and Leo, you know, there may be, um, you know, psychic, you know, as far as the psychic prowess and ability. The person, you know, may feel if they have this, that there's a superior to others, that they may boast about this ability if he or she does have it. There may be wanting some kind of recognition and notoriety in matters with this. Maybe the person has children that are you know, somewhat mediumistic or have some strong intuitive prowess or ability um, as well. It could be romantic partners may have this um, ability. And it's also, I mean, too, Neptune is connected with escaping, escapism. So this person may find, 
you know, a way to escape in their own way. It could be through their hobbies, you know, their board or video games, whatever it is, the things going to an amusement park, um, sports activities, things that are, you know, enjoyable uh, for this person could be a means um, of uh, escaping. So um, anyway, people, that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment. Until next time, everyone learn saying stay well.